every day we use up energy from the most basic things we do, such as walking. But even when we're not moving, our heart muscles are still pumping. But how? Where does all this energy come from? In ancient civilizations, people believed that gods or higher powers gave us our spiritual energy. But now, people don't believe in spiritual explanations. We believe in scientific explanations. People just say that we get our energy because we eat. But as biologists, we do not believe that the answer is as simple as just because we eat. There must be some more complex explanations. And as we expected, we found much more complex answers. Energy is produced starting from the basic organization of life, cells. We all know that from the largest organism, the blue whale, to the smallest organism, an amoeba, a single cell organism, they all contain cells. And cells is what makes energy for the body. Now, cells make energy through a process of chemical reactions called cellular metabolism. And one of the metabolisms or chemical processes within the cell is what makes an energy. We, including me and everybody, will die if we don't have any energy left in our cells, or if our cells don't produce any energy at all. The creation of energy starts from when we eat a food. The food is broken down into glucose, which is absorbed by the mitochondria, and the mitochondria in turn produces ATP from the glucose through a process called cellular respiration. Now, once you have all the ATP that the mitochondria produces, the ATP is hydrolyzed, which means water is induced inside the ATP. Now, once you put water inside the bonds, the bonds break, and once the bonds break, it releases energy, turning adenosine triphosphate into adenosine diphosphate. A positive use for ATP is an ATP testing for hospital cleanliness. ATP is produced by living organisms. As a result, when reacted with light, luciferase and aluminometer, the level of biological and microbial growth can be determined. Thus, hospital staff may choose to re-sterilize an instrument from the results. Fun fact, my zombies can never exist. Now, a simple reason why zombies could never exist would be that they would never be able to move. Now, based on the fact we know that energy is produced by living cells through the hydrolyzation of adenosine triphosphate. Now, the zombie, we're talking about the old-fashioned kind, are dead. They've been put to their grave, so their muscle cells should have already died a long time ago. Now, ATP cannot be made from dead cells, so zombies would have absolutely no energy in walking or trying to catch them. They would just stay there and they would basically be dead. Thank you for watching our presentation. We hope you enjoyed it. And if you have a zombie plan, it's completely wasted because zombies will never biologically exist. Thank you. Ancient civilizations, people. Ah, from the biggest thing, the blue well. Wait, a whale. Fun fact. Face up. <laughs>